Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll show you how to family share on Steam. So there's gonna be a very easy one, so let's get started. So usually when you access your game here in the library section of your account, normally you'll see the borrow section here instead of basically installing it in here in your computer. So if you have another account that actually owns this game, then you will be able to share that to the account that doesn't have that game. So here you'll see the borrow, but if we view games that are actually free on Steam, you will automatically see the play button here. But if you don't own it, it's going to say borrow. So let's go to the account that actually owns this game. So I am now in my other account. As you can see, I own this game in my other account. So how do you actually share this to your other account or to your family members or to your friends? So there's a few settings that we should be changing here. So let's first go to the top left of the screen, that is the Steam section, just click on it and you want to select settings here. Now under settings, what you want to do here is you want to first go to security. Now under security, you want to update or manage your Steam Guard. So just click on manage your Steam Guard, it's going to open up something in your Steam Guard settings here. So what you want to do is you want to set this up to get Steam Guard codes by email. So you have to set this both in your current account as well with the other account that you're sharing your games. So if you don't do this or you don't get or set this up for both accounts, this method will not work with you. So here, once you've set that up, the next thing that we want to do is you want to go back into our settings. So same thing, you want to go to Steam and go to settings again. Now in here, you want to go to the family section of your Steam settings. Now in here, what you want to do is you want to go to family library sharing. So when we click on manage, you should be able to see all of the accounts that will be actually you, you currently shared your library with. But as you can see right now, there's none in here. It means you haven't shared anything with other users or other family members. But do remember this section of your account settings is going to be really important later on when we actually do something or some stuff with the accounts. So let's just go back into settings. Now in here, what you want to do is you want to make sure that the authorized library sharing on this device is actually enabled on your account. So here, just click on the authorized library sharing on this device. So do be note that you could select up to five users who may access and use the library on authorized devices. As you can see, since I already logged in into my account, you'll be able to see this different accounts here. So if you want to share your uh, library to an account already in your computer right now or an account that is already logged in into your computer, you just need to make sure that you enable that account. So in here, I want to give access to this user here. So just enable this one. So if you're wondering you could, if you could also do this for other computers, you just need to log in into your account as well and do the following settings again on that computer. Now, once you've done that, the next thing that you want to do is basically logging out from this account and checking your other account. So just let's just log out from this one and check the other account. So I am now in my other account where I actually shared my library. So let's go and find a game that we are supposedly sharing to this account. So that game is going to be here. And this section here it is that by daylight. And as you can see, it's going to say from the library of the following user right now. So from here, you can just basically start playing this game while this specific user is actually offline. So if this user goes online, you won't be able to play this game and they will be the priority one playing that game. But if they're online, you'll be off offline, you'll be able to play this game. Now, what if, if you want to revoke the access from your library so let's just go back into the original account so now to revoke access on your library you first want to go to steam again and you want to go to settings now in here you want to go back into family and from here you could do this two ways so you could either use the family library sharing what i just shown you so right now as you can see you could either revoke the account itself or the device itself. So if you want to revoke that, just click on revoke here and revoke. Or you could either use the settings here. 
that says eligible accounts and basically disable that and your library will no longer be shared to that specific account and let's just reload this one just to show you as you can see that account is removed from that specific section and that's about it so thank you for watching if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comment section if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful you could use the link in the description to subscribe see you in the next video